Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Carleen and today's video is on liquid eyeliner. This video is brought to you by my Facebook followers who voted. So thank you guys for supporting me. Uh, liquid eyeliner is the, is the winner wedding, is the winner today. Uh, and I've come up with some tips and I'm going to show you how I've learned to do it. Some of you may know that I used to work at the body shop here in Queensland, Australia, where uh, we were trained in natural makeup. So I've adapted this uh, having two ch young children of my own. So everything I have to do is sort of in a hurry and it has to look natural. So these tips are for you guys. So thanks for the vote. Please keep watching. I'll put my link to my blog and my Facebook page down the bottom. And please subscribe if you want more videos where I try and make motherhood prettier and easier on a budget. Thanks for watching, guys. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we get into applying the eyeliner, I have some uh, tips for you that I have learned over the years that will make applying your eyeliner easier. The product that you use is what is going to make it easier for you. And that's really hard to decide because every person is different. The one that I've been using lately is this guy from Maybelline. Um, love it when Maybelline has 50% off. I hardly ever buy makeup full price anymore. Well, with now. some liquid eyeliner that I've used in the past where it's like the pot and then the lid sort of unscrews off as the cap. Um, when you first lift it out of the pot, because it's sitting in product, it often has like a big dollop of product at the end. Um, which I didn't love because you go to put it on and be like... Pfft like a big mess on your eye that was like running everywhere I have sensitive eyes it would burn like hell so look for a product like this because this is definitely an easy product to use second thing is the way that you apply it depends on your eye shape and that was different for every person so if you've been on YouTube watching the videos you know um, those girls have had practice it's not the first time that they've done it so they look so perfect because practice makes perfect and they you know you get to know your own eye shape and how you need to wear it you know whether you have like quite round eyes or like almond eyes or whatever hooded eyes that's going to change how you apply your eyeliner so you do need to take that into consideration third tip is to use your hand on your face as an anchor use a cotton bud um dabbed like dipped in eye makeup remover and then squeezing it out so that it doesn't like drop onto your makeup and then like create a watery patch then which will then make your makeup sort of see through is that everything i feel like i'm doing a bunch of talking let's get into it okay i'm just gonna tuck my hair behind my ears oh my god look how bad my skin fancy this i've waited so long trying to get myself together to make this video and now that I'm making it my skin has been the worst that it has been since before I fell pregnant now that I'm looking up close in this mirror <laughs> so the first place that you want to start when applying your liquid eyeliner especially with an applicator like this um, or any applicator really I like to start um, on the outer third of the eye where your liner would be the thickest anyway and I kind of just apply a little bit of product just to get the majority of the product off of the brush or the bristles or whatever they're called um so that way you don't go in right at the beginning and end up with like a big like circle like dab of product i know that people say like you shouldn't pull your eyelids or whatever but that is how i learned to do it and that's the only way that i've been able to do it with a stable hand so i'm gonna risk some fine lines and wrinkles which will probably be inevitable anyway and i'm gonna go ahead and do it and i sort of rest the palm of my hand sort of on my jawline as well um, to kind of anchor it so that my hands don't shake and I've done that you might notice too I'm not sort of going in like directly like bam in the eye I'm sort of doing it on an angle and I'm letting the brush do the work for me I'm gonna go in you could honestly press this on if you were like petrified of doing liquid eyeliner and you wanted to learn that way I just like to hold it almost flat against my eyelid and I'm barely touching the skin now that I've got some product onto the skin and off of the brush my god look how red my eyes are this is what you get for having a baby scream for two hours during the night and then going to work oh my god look at that all right and I'm gonna go now that I've got most of that product off the brush and I'm gonna go right down to where my eyelashes um, start so all I'm gonna do is find where my eyelashes start and just press that onto the skin aiming with the tip first now, often when I'm doing eyeliner I'll aim to do like the thinnest line possible and things don't go to plan it just gets thicker and thicker and I just try and cover up my mess like um, it's not always perfect but I never aim for perfect I never have claimed that I'm perfect so I'm okay with that 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim for it to sort of start thinner on the inside and I'm going to go thicker from where the iris, in the middle of the iris is, so the middle, the middle of your coloured part of your eye, and then out to where I'm going to wing it out, it's going to get thicker as it goes along. Be careful you don't catch your eyelashes when you sort of go in like that because then it's going to press onto your eyeliner and you're going to get little like flicks and like little like like fine lines in the black ink as well. So I'm just going to go in right to the end where my eyelashes are. And I'm just going to have a look back over and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and kind of like color in between the lashes. This time I'm actually going to like poke like straight in because I'm going to try and dab in between where my lashes are growing and um, color that skin in so that you can't see where my eyelashes start and then where the eyeliner finishes because I want it to look as natural as possible. So now we're getting to the nitty gritty part. So um, a lot of people start to panic when it comes to the wing and honestly it just takes, like it, it takes practice. The way that I've learned to do it is I sort of fill it in right to the end. I can just see there's a spot there that's annoying me. I'm just going to colour that in. So I fill it right to the end where my eyelashes are and then I'm going to practice on the wing. So when looking, I first sort of like take a step back and I look in the mirror and what I'm going to aim for is where I sort of don't, I don't take the eyeliner right to where the eye meets right in that outer corner there because it's too low. Think about having an imaginary line, if you hold your pen up, from like where the bottom lashes are to your eyebrow. The kind of line of sight sort of like that you want to kind of aim for. If you continue to draw your eyeliner right to the end and then flick it out, it can sort of make your eyes sort of droop down a little bit and sort of look a little bit sad and not so open. Whereas if you aim up a bit more, it's kind of like up and awake and your eyes are alive and you've had eight hours of sleep and it's a complete lie. Um, but that's the look that we are going for. I'm just going to get that to meet together now. And I'm going to backfill. Alright, so I've just noticed that I feel like I'm really far away. What if I turn this way? Really far away from the camera and that you probably can't see as close as you would like because I'm looking down to apply it. So I hope that that's easier for you to see now what I've done so far. Now I'm just going to use my simple eye makeup remover and I'm just going to clean up those feathery marks just on top of the foundation there. I find that the slower you go, the sharper your line is going to be. Because if you go a bit too fast, it can sort of skip over the skin and it doesn't sort of get a chance to fill it all in, especially if you have any fine lines around your eyes as well. Now let me just finish off the other side and then I will make sure that that is even or as close to even as I can get it. This is my Body Shop Smoky Eye Definer, their Crayon Coal Smoky Pencil. It comes with a little blender, which I love. For my eye shape, what I like to do is colour in the waterline, because if you look sort of straight on, you can probably see the flesh colour of my waterline where my lashes meet my eye. And I want that to be all black. The pencil, just on the outer third of the eye, down the bottom here. If you're just learning how to do liquid eyeliner, it helps to smooth out all of those edges. And normally I would just put like a quick um, like a mascara on, but what actually does uh, make a difference is curling your lashes first. Just using my um, Rimmel Volume Shake, what is it? This guy. God, it, feels like it's, it sounds like it's got like a little weight and it makes like a little noise when you shake it. And I think that's everything that should make it um, that little bit easier for somebody who's learning how to do liquid eyeliner as a beginner. Um, or I just hope that you found these tips helpful. Um, give me a like if you did. Um, comment if you want to see any other videos from me. Just thanks for watching. I'll see you on my next video.